Since the beginning of me playing and covering most things Emergency Response to Liberty County, it has become somewhat of a yearly tradition to put out my top predictions for the upcoming year. 2023 will be no exception, Sanies. If you've been a fan for a while, you know that I was pretty much on the mark with my first video, but perhaps the most profound proof that I am not too detached from reality or from what might be coming to ERLC is the video prediction for 2022. In the event that you still somehow doubt me, I predicted the map expansion almost down to the T. I boldly predicted that there would be a completely different part of town when I said this. And what I'm referring to is another map expansion. Yes, you heard correctly. I'm going to be bold here and I'm gonna say that another city is in the long-term works for the game. And no, I'm not talking about just another underdeveloped portion of the map and giving it life. I'm talking about a whole new section that is not currently pictured on the map and an entirely new city to live there. If you want more proof, I predicted the bank when I said this. On the list as number three is Liberty County or River City Bank. I have high hopes and this is why the bank makes it on my list as its own separate prediction. If you want another example, I'm also the one that said this about how criminal activity would change long before bank robberies, long before shooting out glass, and long before mafias were even a thing. That we will see a criminal overhaul or what I'm calling a criminal revolution. Within a 12 month time frame, I strongly suspect we'll see a new robbery opportunity. More elaborate ideas of this of course include the bank and if for whatever reason, that's still not enough proof. I even predicted that some kind of viewpoint would be coming. Some predictions of my own include a viewpoint, you know, somewhere where players can either drive or walk up to. And guess what? So I like to think that my track record holds a little bit of water. Either I'm confident in my predictions or the developers watch my videos and take notes at the beginning of the year and simply take the ideas like Apple did from the jailbreaking community. Oh! I'm just kidding, I don't care. But really zanies, here are my top 10 predictions for Emergency Response Liberty County in 2023. I will warn you that I am away from my normal working desktop, I am supposed to be on vacation, but I have a few minutes on my hands and I was too excited to publish this video, therefore some of the footage may just be stock footage from old gameplay or I'll just overlay some random gameplay over this video. In either case, this is a listening video and not a watching and listening video, zanies. We're gonna begin bold and go straight into number one. My top prediction for ERLC this year is that we will see the elimination or removal of paychecks. Wait, what? Yes, you heard correctly. I believe we will see paychecks disappear at some point in 2023. Why? I know you're all wondering why. It's actually very simple. With the addition of all the jobs in Liberty County, it has become almost too generous that we are still essentially making free money in ERLC. Before you tear me up in the comments, I want you to think about all the games in Roblox and which an action must take place before you even net any money. Whether it's driving, delivering, or reaching a checkpoint of sorts, few are the games that just give you money for being logged in. This will be ending soon. This will obviously have some pros and cons. The pros are that it will force players to get a job and try their best to roleplay or actually go out and risk being criminals. The cons are that it will turn some people off to the game. I don't know what other engagement implications this might bring, but I'm sure it's not as black and white as I'm making it out to be. In either case, you're hearing it here first. The days of free paychecks will be ending soon. Coming in at number two is a merger or partnership. Now, I don't know if this has already happened or is happening quietly behind the scenes as I speak, but I have strong reason to believe EROC will be absorbing or officially partnering with other popular and role-playing games out there. This isn't an easy topic to talk about, and I don't want to dive into a matter that might confuse the masses, so all I'm going to say is don't be surprised if PRC prevails as a parent to another game. Moving on, let's talk about number three. Remember Zanies, I'm going a little bold this year, and that's throwables. 
Just like I predicted snowball fights, I will be the first to predict that we will be getting either smoke grenades, regular grenades, possibly C4, and more. I tend to side with maybe we're going to start with just smoke grenades, but you never know. I don't think explosions would do too well in a game like ERLC, so what do you guys think? Is it time for smoke grenades in C4? Let me know in the comments below. Quickly moving into my fourth prediction for 2023 and emergency response Liberty County is hideouts. I have long speculated that something major is coming to the bunker and caves, but I'll admit, it has not come to fruition. It has not been until recently that I became openly known that something major is coming to the caves. What it is, I still don't know, but I'll go beyond that. This isn't just about the caves or the bunker. I still believe there's more, whether this is underground access for some buildings, underground tunnel network, or maybe secret rooms and buildings that already exist, I don't know. There's something major coming though, I just can't put my finger on it. My fifth prediction for ERLC in 2023 is complete and total vehicle overhaul. Yes, I know this might sound like an old prediction, but they're slowly and surely coming true. Let me elaborate and explain why I still feel strongly about this. We are at a plateau when it comes to cars and ERLC. Short of being able to fully customize vehicles, there's nothing left to do. The only way to spice things up is to bring in a completely different roster and set of features. Let's keep in mind that I'm also the one that predicted the vehicle customization which has come true in the law enforcement team. But what I'm saying is that now, in order to keep players interested in 2023, this needs to come to the civilian team, as well as bring in a fresh fleet of cars that everyone can afford, not just exotics. The next prediction that ties in a bit to the law enforcement team, but not exactly, let me throw this out there, bounty hunters. We all know bounties exist in the RLC, right? Well, what if anyone could claim that bounty? And I'm not talking about the XP and the few extra bucks that cops get when they arrest someone. I'm talking about someone on the civilian team going out there, finding you, and if they can capture you and turn you into law enforcement, they get to keep the full-blown bounty. I know I'm capable of wrapping up a pretty hefty bounty, so wouldn't it be cool if no one was safe? Wouldn't it add an extra element to the game knowing that you can never be too sure about who you can trust? This topic gets me excited and I for one would love to see this as an addition to the game. What are we at? Number 7? Yes, my 7th prediction for Emergency Response Liberty County is a full blown highway system. This is a pretty simple and straightforward one so I won't be long about this. Right now the highway system starts at one corner of the map and sort of makes an L or a half circle around the map and then terminates right before you get back into the housing track. I believe we will see this wrap around the entire map even if it means it will go above or below the hills, maybe even through the hills. If it goes through the existing terrain, it would be great to see a second tunnel in Emergency Response Liberty County. My eighth prediction for ERLC in 2023 is one that might be bordering the realm of likely not to happen, and that's secondary weapon systems or the ability to carry more than one weapon at a time. Yes, zanies, I share your frustration of only being able to carry one gun, and it's not the fact that you can only carry one gun, it's the fact that it's one gun with very limited ammo and a very tedious ammo reload system that does not work fluidly if you are in a pinch. So maybe some of you will call this wishful thinking, or maybe this shouldn't even be on the list, I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this a fair prediction for 2023? Almost done with this list of predictions with number 9 is continued improvement for building interiors. This is another one that I don't feel needs much explanation and precisely why I decided to start with the bold ones this year. We already started seeing this throughout the map. The only highlight I'll make here is downtown. Downtown is such a neat and well put together part of the map that it would be a shame if the developers did not continue to add features to this area of the map. I love the fact that we have an ATM and some houses nearby, but what about a second fire department? What about a second sheriff's station? What if we do see a park ranger extension to the law enforcement teams? Alright Zanies, let's wrap this up with number 10, my 10th prediction for emergency response Liberty County in 2023 is another bold one. Yes, you heard correctly, you probably thought I was going to end with something simple, didn't you? Well, no, because I believe that in 2023 we're going to see the introduction of some kind of boot camp for the law enforcement team, some kind of driving school or criminal school for the civilian team, 
And let's not forget about firefighters and EMT. I think we're going to see some kind of academy for them as well. I'm not saying this is going to turn into a secondary mini game. All I'm saying is that there's going to be some kind of tutorial or wizards that players must complete in order to prove they are worthy of being part of any particular team. Besides, if we think about it, ERLC is becoming more and more realistic every update. So why not? Wouldn't it make sense? All right, Zanies, I'm out of here. I'm going to go enjoy this vacation. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Don't forget that subscribing is absolutely free. Until next time, long live the Zanies.